Now we as producers and fellow music enjoyers love simple four on the floor house beats. Wow, so captivating. It works, but it lacks a bit of character. How do you bring character in drums apart from the drum sounds themselves? Percussion is the thing we're looking for today. And we don't want to just throw a random percussion loop in because it doesn't serve the track. We are doing this in Serum, by the way. If you out there use Vital, that's completely fine. Just follow along and use whatever synth you like. I have made some percussion right here. I just have these. This is a bit dry, obviously. I've put this loop in, EQ'd it a bit so it fits the beat, and now uh, we've made a banger. Now we can arrange the, this percussion so it fits, it fits the track. I just modified the percussion a bit so it fits the loop, and now it sounds like this. How do you make percussion is the question you might ask because you read the title and it says how you make percussion. <laughs> You've come to the right place. Here is how you make percussion. You just wing it. I'm, I'm not kidding right now. If you've seen my other drum tutorials, like kick, snare, clap, and whatnot, you now know how you make a sort of drum with transient and stuff that sounds electronic and fitting for house music. This is just all that knowledge combined and just being creative and trying things out with try and error. I'm just going to take a inner preset. We have this saw wave, don't we? Well, if we just shorten the decay like so much that it becomes more clicky and not tonal. We can use this kind of transient for anything. Let's add some distortion. Gets a bit too tonal for me. And the flanges and miscellaneous filters are just so much fun to experiment with. Maybe I, yeah, this looks cool. Now you have this. Now let's compress this a lot. And maybe some short reverb. Some chorus. Just take it out and use it. Right, I've, I've created like this envelope, took some noise, put it through hyper distortion compression and EQ. And we even have a shaker. And I want with this shaker, I'm just going to accentuate like this hi-hat because it's where the like where it, the sample begins again, if you know what I mean. Just try out different things and save all sounds to your bank and something cool will come I promise for example this is the noise reverb filter you downsample it this sounds like a snap almost like the middle part right there there you have your next percussion thing just drag it in We could go on and on with this technique. The technique is kind of to have no technique and just try everything out. But the basic steps are take a noise oscillator or just any oscillator, make the decay very short so you have like a snappy transient and then try out different filters, different delay lengths and delay types, different reverbs, chorus. Be as creative as you can be. You can't make any mistakes here, if I'm being honest. So this is basically it. Now let's listen one more time with percussion and without. This is the groove without percussion. This is going to be all for today. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. Subscribe for more, like, comment and all that shit. We'll see each other next week. Have a good one and goodbye.